Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. So today I have MCQs with respect to growth and development. So let's get started. The first MCQ is which of the following is not is not an economic characteristic of developing nations. Not an economic characteristic. Low per capita income. Yes, this is one. Yeah, low per capita income. High unemployment. Indeed, high unemployment is a problem. Yeah. Then we have majority of people working in primary sector. Yes, we have majority of people working in agriculture and then we have last option exports of capital goods here we are asking which is not an economic uh, characteristic of developing nations so ex exports of capital goods cannot be the thing exports of primary goods most of the developing countries are exporting primary goods so not an economic characteristic is exports of capital goods is not we are exporting rather primary goods so i hope this is pretty much clear let us now move to the second mcq which we have here which of the following is not again a demographic characteristic of developing nations so we have high fertility yes we have a problem of high fertility in india it is around 2.3 that is the total fertility rate in india is around 2.3 so high fertility rate is a characteristic then we have rapid population growth indeed we have a problem of pro population growth as well then we have third option is demographic dividend that is the youngest population indeed india has the youngest population from 2020 to 2030 yeah so this is again a characteristic increasing mortality rate this is not a demographic characteristic because rather we have decreasing demographic uh, de decreasing mortality rate so this is my correct option d increasing mortality rate yeah is not a demographic characteristic rather it has to be decreasing let us now move to the third question which we have here which of the following is a characteristic of developing nation plain simple question high employment no we have rather high unemployment low fertility technological backwardness none of the above so we have high fertility here we have seen we have high fertility technological backwardness yes we have technological backwardness so therefore option c is the correct answer for the third question let us now move to the fourth mcq which we have here which of the following are socio cultural characteristic of developing nations so the first is religion yes indeed religion is a big problem for most of the developing countries thrift that is the habit of saving yes indeed india has a saving rate of near about 30% so saving is again a characteristic socio cultural character collectivism yes and then ability to take risk indeed that depends upon the cultural aspect of any economy per se yeah so we have to select the appropriate answer so we have options a b and c that is religion thrift and collectivism we have all of the above then we have option a only that is religion and option b and c that is thrift and collectivism so here the correct answer is all of the above so all of the above are socio cultural characteristics of developing nations let us now move to the next mcq which we have here statements we have been given two statements yeah so let us read what is the first statement developing countries have a problem of outdated technology yes indeed backwardness technological backwardness so this is true yeah this is true now let us look to uh, look into the second question or the second uh, statement rather it is technology transfer from developing countries can solve the problem of developing nations if at all any developing nation is uh, any de uh, developed nation is willing to give technology the new or upcoming technology to developing nations the problems of developing nations will solve indeed it will solve so this is also true so select the correct answer both statement 1 and 2 are false no both of them are true both statement 1 and 2 are true yes indeed so this is our correct answer yeah so we need not look into the next options which are available to us which is only statement 1 is true and only statement 2 is true so this is the correct answer both statement 1 and 2 are true so i hope uh, this will help you for uh, your uh, university online exams and please stay tuned i'll be making more, more videos thank you so much